Hello everybody, my name is Kedemo, welcome back for a new series uh, called Age of History 2. Now, this is an old game. Uh, it came out a couple of years ago, I think two or three years ago it came out. I played it when it actually came out and everything, and ever since on and off I played it as well. It's a pretty decent game. Uh, it's part of the poll that uh, I asked you guys if you wanted me to play this game or not. Uh, where, like which games do you wanted me to play and stuff like that you guys voted uh, mostly for old world but also for age of history too so I'm gonna be playing this game for you guys if you guys don't know what it's like it's basically a map strategy game I'm gonna go straight up into uh, games right away all right we're gonna do a new game I'll show you guys what it looks like basically so we're gonna do a new game you see the map right here What's fun about this game is you can basically colonize stuff. So where there's no territories, you got to actually colonize these places and stuff. It's a lot like Victoria 2 uh, in some ways. It's very fun to do. And there's a lot of scenarios. So the basic scenario is 90, uh, 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 is 1440. That's the basic scenario when basically you're coming close to uh, the Americas, right? The colonization of the Americas, the discovery of it. You're getting close to it there's also um, uh, 1467 but only focused on the Japanese side so it's like a civil war or something there's the Napoleonic Wars which at first were not the Napoleonic Wars that is just me that uh, modified this was basically uh, the Victorian era but modified it so it could be the Victorian or maybe I didn't actually no it's just the Napole Napoleonic Wars I guess Never mind, boys. Victorian era. There's one that I did modify, but I don't remember which one it was. But Victorian era, you already know, 1836. So you got all these, uh, all these countries and everything. You see it right here. So United Kingdom, United States, right here. Look at all this. So you got everything. You got all the scenarios. You get the basics. There's a lot of scenarios here and there. I already know which one I want to go for. I want to go for one that is very very far away boys in the first years and stuff like that if uh, the game's gonna load at some point there we go so we're gonna not go for here not go for the 2000s uh, although this is a good scenario in of itself uh, one, two of my favorite scenarios from this game is this one and the, the other one that's coming uh, before that one I think so uh, the reason why is beca because you can play really as anybody you want in the Americas, which is what I want to do, boys. This is what I'm going to end up doing. But uh, 1200. Now we do have the Byzantine Empire and stuff like that. Before that, nothing really. We are going to do what we're going to do, boys. Is we're going to jump on in to five, the year five, basically. Now year five, what ha what happens then? There's not a lot happening, right? There's not a lot of things in Asia. Asia has mostly been unconquered. It's mostly been uh, left alone so far. Or uh, Eurasia, that is. So uh, we are still looking to have someone to conquer this and become Russia and stuff. We have the Mongolian Empire, kind of, right? Exonyu. We have the Han Dynasty, of course, over here in China. We've got the Roman Empire, boys. None other than the Roman Empire right here kind of in decline it's gonna start to fall apart as you can see it's already starting to fall apart in the east uh, it's gonna fall apart eventually altogether so uh, that's pretty much that and over here we've got all these little people now the one people that are the most important to me is the Aztec Empire I want to try and recreate the Aztec Empire and give them a lot of power boys a lot uh, a lot of land so I'm gonna make sure that the Aztec Empire become super strong and almost gets the entirety of uh, America so that's what we're gonna do right here we're gonna go for unless I want to go for year one well there's nothing in year one uh, 36 uh, there's nothing in there as well that's just a uh, Chinese uh, area and this is the modern world as well so no we're not doing that so we're gonna do year five boys that is the one that I'm choosing or doing year five we're gonna have a lot of fun with this Let's jump on in. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I need to actually select the country I want to be at. So let me uh, do that. There we go. I choose it. So I'm now uh, the Aztec boys. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do difficulty uh, beginner. 
we're just gonna do difficulty beginner because I don't want to have too much difficulty uh, fog of war discovery I'm gonna do just classic what that means is we're not gonna know what's going on over here if we haven't uncovered the territories right we don't know we're not gonna know what's going on there aggressiveness we are gonna make the AI a lot aggressive because if you put it right there, they're not going to be aggressive. They're not going to attack each other. I want them to attack each other. So um, I think I'm just going to end up doing 200% for now. For now, we're going to do 200%. Manage diplomacy. Okay, so fill the map. We're in the placement. Sandbox mode all day, every day. Uh, spectator mode. Nope. Colonization of wasteland provinces enabled. So we can colonize anything we want. Natural uh, provinces. Yeah, sure. Eternal wars. I don't want that on. And uh, we are good to go. Let's jump on in, boys, as the Aztec. All right, so as you can see, we're starting in year five. May of... Uh, the fi uh, 5th May of year five. So uh, it's going to be very interesting. We're starting out with the technology points. We got uh, 15 to start off with. What I usually go for is colonization costs. So I'm going to put at that at five at least. Research at five as well. Uh, military upkeep. I don't really care too much. Population growth, I do want that at 5, and that's about it. Population growth, colonization, and research. Colonization is very important because it costs a lot to colonize. You see the amount of money I've got, it cost me? Now, I do have sandbox mode, which gives me, uh, basically, it's a mod that allows you to be uh, super OP and stuff, but I want that. So, I can also go into civilization mode. Now, I'm a ch right now, I'm a tribal uh place i'm a tribal um uh, people so what happens is i can't really do too much if i want to be civilized and actually become a monarchy i can but i need to actually spend some stuff spend some points right i need more points for that so i can't do it just yet uh good so far everything's great i do want to do research though research is very important for me so let's do it at 50 percent every time Research 50% boys because I do want to be able to research the research is basically what gives you the points What gives you the points uh, eventual points to spend more on right? So first thing we're gonna do we're gonna recruit some people right here recruit to the max uh, 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 Obviously we want as many soldiers as possible on every border we got we are gonna colonize but before that we do want to modify our things right so I think we're good here. How's it? How's our simulation going? Uh, um, how's the uh, population going? I don't think we need to assimilate them at all. I think we're doing just fine as it is. So we don't need to assimilate anybody. I'm not sh uh, pretty sure. Yeah, I can't get any of these because I need to be more like... In order to get castles, watchtowers and farms and stuff, I need to not be a tribal uh, people, I'm pretty sure. So, so far so good. First thing we're going to go for, we're going to go for Puebla. We're not going to declare war on anybody just yet. Uh, the only thing we're going to do is just try and expand and colonize more places around us. That's always we're going to do. Uh, what we're going to do. So we got uh, more soldiers right here just recruited. Not going to do any of that. Well, we are going to get a farm right here, I guess. Let's get a farm right here and we are good. So uh, I'm just going to focus on upgrading the main cities. The one that has stars, obviously, are the capitals. But the one with the big like dots on it are the main, uh, main points of references. These are the ones you want to focus on the most. So there we go. We just moved up a month just like that. You see how fast it is to actually um, move from month to month, boys. So uh, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to focus on that. So uh, we want to do 50% again for this. There we go. Now, militia does cost a lot uh, of money. So we got to be careful here. I don't have enough to colonize. As you can see, I need uh, 1.4 of those for most of it, or 1.6. I only have one, so I can't colonize right now. So all I need to do is wait, wait it out, and I can't do anything here. So let's just skip another turn, boys. It's as simple as that. That's pretty much the entire game right here. We're already at year nine. You see how fast uh, the years are going? So we're already at year nine. Uh, I imagine we don't know what's going on over there. I did put it uh, for the Fog of War at Classic, right? Oh, we still know what's going on around the world, I guess. Yeah, okay, so we still know what's going on around the world, I guess. We, uh, I guess I should have put it at Discovery. And it, it would have been uh, where it would have worked the, the way I wanted it to. But I guess we're fine. Skip another turn right here. We really can't do anything until we got 1.4. We can actually 
you know, go somewhere. You're going to see the tribal places. Uh, I'm going to be the only one to do, to stay put, but the tribal places are nomads. So they're going to be moving around. They're never going to stay put in one territory. In one single territory. Now, most of them are going to stick to their main regions, but they're always going to move a little bit from tile to tile because there are nomads. So uh, that's a nice little addition to the game as well. Let's continue to skip turns. We're near 13. We still don't have enough to colonize anywhere at all. We need 1.4, boys. See, this is what the, the problem is. I need to be able to colonize further. So I need I need technology to give me, like, I need more technologies, boys. I need more technologies and fast. Let's keep upgrading. Let's keep upgrading. I hope you guys are here, um, are loving this game so far. I'm going to keep uh, doing that 50% every time I skip a turn. Uh, so we do have a, a research points from that. So uh, one research point now. What do we want to do with it? Colonization costs would be great because it costs me a lot. I think I'm just going to do administration though. Because I, I want to get more money. And uh, I want to be able to suspend myself a little bit further. So now we can actually colonize another place. We are going to block these guys from that place. So we're going to do uh, Veracruz. We're going to colonize this place. And we're going to get some soldiers from there as well. Can we uh, get a farm? We sure can. Uh, I, I need to do the other one. Construct. There we go. So we're going to get a farm in the next year. Uh, so that's pretty much good. If we go into this tree right here, you can see how far we are. Uh, so I'm not sure. This is basically which one? Provinces. So this is how many provinces people have. The most amount of provinces. The biggest empire out there is obviously Rome with 348 regions or provinces. Uh, so that's uh, quite a lot. We are, oh, we only have three. And the, the other one the, the over here, it's the picks with 10. So we're far away from that just yet, boys. Income, balance, military upkeep. You can see all of these economy, boys. So economy, we, where are we? Are we here somewhere? I'm not sure if we're here somewhere, boys. We're probably in there uh, for the economy. I'm not sure constructed and everything so you can see how how well everything's going like you can really see and stuff uh we are also there we go i, I want to keep doing this right here and the goods it's very important that you keep investments and in goods as uh, a bonus uh part i can always tax people a little bit further but my people are pretty much happy right now as it is i'm gonna just can tax them up a little bit further as much as possible they're pretty much happy right now so i can do whatever i want and we are going to just really like focus a lot on our uh technology and stuff so as you can see this color population the tax like uh, the the talskala or whatever you want to call, uh, call them they are uh, moving so they just move from one tile so see that they uh, they are no mad, so they're moving apart, boys. We're moving. Uh, we we'll keep uh, skipping turns. We're near uh, year 19 already. Uh, as you can see, we were moving quite fast. We're not gaining a lot of uh, diplomacy point. Uh, diplomacy point. We're only gaining uh, one per turn, I believe. That is a point one. So that is not good. Not good, boys. We gotta be able to do something. We could always. That's another option I want to show you guys. We can do release a vassal. From all the territories we got, any territories we got, we can release a puppet anytime we want. We can release any countries we want. Set the capital, set the name and everything. Choose anything we want. I'm not going to do that. We're trying to create an empire, but, you know, it is something we can do. All right, so in the next turn, year 20, boys, we got another extra point. Just going to continue to focus on administration. There we go. You can see our population. They are mostly... There's a little bit of, there's a lot of neutral in it, but there's a little bit of flax, like, uh, so a little bit coming from them, population from them as well. But 80% of our empire is con uh, composed of the Aztecs. So as long as it stays that way, this is why it's important to assimilate them because you want your population to be of uh, you're the same culture as you. You know, it's very important that way to so keep uh, doing 150%. Uh, I might do 100 actually. Uh, every time so just so we get like more points because right now we really we really can't do anything we're really stuck basically there we go there's another point right there just like that you gotta keep uh 
expanding right here so as much as possible let's just do 80 percent every time 80 percent is going to really help us out we have investments of budget spending uh we're spending a, a lot and especially a lot in the military stuff we're spending quite a lot boys so just gotta keep in mind that that is a thing okay so that's pretty much it we gotta keep going just gotta keep scoring and skipping turns because right now i can't do anything what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at the entire world every like 50 uh every 10 turns i'm gonna look at the world boys basically i'm gonna look at the world so we already looked at it once so i want to look at it again we are gonna keep uh going for 80 percent investments right here in the technology there we go keep doing that over and over boys we don't have a lot going on as you can see year uh year 30 now so it's been 25 years uh that we've been in there there's a lot of wars going on there we go you can see rome versus frieza frigia and everything rome versus ermandria so rome is at war with a bunch of people so there is wars going on there's definitely a bunch of war going on so i like to see that definitely like to see that boys quite a lot let's do 80 percent right here uh, we can expand once again so we are going to colonize once again we're going to colonize over here take that territory right here we can't really do anything with that so we're just gonna go ahead and get some soldiers right here can't really do well actually i'm gonna keep these soldiers here because they are part of lands right here that are on the shore so i want to protect my shores uh, uh shores obviously even though I, I, i'm pretty sure the other nomad clans or don't have any ships or whatnot uh, i'm still want to be careful right here we do have all right so we do have an extra point so we're now at five out of 20 for administration administration uh, is uh, doing pretty decent see 80 percent is really helping me out big time right now it's really helping me out so that's good we're, we are gaining 0.2 per turn now so at least there's that right now the 0.2 diplomacy points these are the most important things for me because it's the only thing I'm using in order to colonize. That's all I want to try to do first, you know, for the first video. Try and colonize as much land as possible. That's how we're going to expand our empire. We're not going to declare war too much on the uh, other uh, civilizations. Economy growth, income um, taxation, income production. I'm going to do income production for the next part. There we go. Uh, keep going right here. Let's just keep uh, going at uh, 80%. No, goods. Don't want. I don't care about that. 80% for this, please. Let's keep going, boys. Oh, we are at year 30 or 20. Hold on. We are at year 20. So we took four tiles so far. So far, boys. Within 40 years, we didn't. Uh, we took four tiles. It doesn't seem like a lot, but for a nomad clan, it, it's it's pretty decent. So uh, over here in the Americas, you're not going to see too much. Uh, everybody's a nomad clan, so nothing's going to happen. There is a couple of wars going on right here between Saxony and Frisia. Uh, so let's take a look really quick. Where's um, where's that going right now? What's going on right here? Saxony and Frisia. There we go. So uh, Saxony is right here. Where's Frisia? I think Frisia is over here. So these two guys are at war with each, uh, with each other right now. Uh, we got as you can see right here. There's a big war going on. Uh, Drisia looks like uh, broke down for the empire. So the Roman Empire you can see is really falling apart quick. Uh, within 40 years, Aldrigia uh, came up, so they're rebelling out. Now, they are they are getting destroyed, I believe. I'm not sure. Now, I think... Uh, no. So, if you see the... what How it works is basically, if you see this, this is the lands they actually control. Uh, these are the uh, the ones that belong to them right there. If, the, if there's a line on it, that just means that uh, uh, the other country, or this country in particular, Aldrigia, is just invaded it so they are in control of it right now but they're in the middle of a war so that's what's going on boys all right lots of wars happening the pigs over here england doing its thing uh i guess over here in china is there anything particular not i don't really see anything i don't really see anything in uh in china happening boys so it's mostly uh the romans having a tough time right here which is uh it's kind of obvious that that was going to be a thing, boys. They, it's obvious that they were going to go struggle for a bit right there. So still keep going at uh, 80%. We can't really do anything. You can see two of them moved up. These guys are moving up quite a lot, this uh, civilization. We got to keep an eye on them. They might be a problem eventually. Uh, they are... What type of, um, of people are they? 
they're still tribal uh they've got are they at war with anybody they are at war with the totanek uh so that's these guys right the tepal no uh no the totanek I, i'm not sure which one it is oh these guys so are they at war with each other these guys these two guys but they can't even face each other because they're they need to colonize first so they're pretty much stuck boys they can't really do too much Let's skip another turn right here we're gonna be able to colonize in this turn which is very good uh where do we want to go next for colonization i think a shore like uh another royal shore like this would be great one of these two i think i'm just gonna go though i don't want to do that i want to go for this one so it's a thick jungle but we're gonna take it obviously gonna take that we're gonna put some soldiers in it to protect it let's do a farm and a watchtower so we can actually put some watchtowers now into our uh, cities which is really good so we got uh, we're gonna get two watchtowers good let's keep going boys doing a lot of stuff uh things are happening boys things are definitely happening slowly but it's definitely happening for sure so income pro production as you can see we're gaining a lot of points faster and uh building there we go we uh, get a, got a couple of buildings still can't move up to this uh let's keep going right here i hope you guys are really enjoying this series i mean i love this game i love this game quite a lot but at the beginning you can see there's really not a lot that's gonna happen the first one under the first 200 years or something not a lot is gonna happen because you're just moving and moving and you're just trying to Especially if you're playing as the Americas, uh, 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 you're playing in the Americas, you're not going to have anything happen, really. There's nef nothing that's going to happen that's really that interesting. Like, everything's just going to move slowly, and you just have to wait the entire time uh, to get, like, enough diplomacy points to do stuff. It's kind of, it could be frustrating if you want to have a lot of stuff happening right away. You can see how fast the game is going anyways, you know, it's just, you gotta keep it uh, turn to turn, really. Just turn to turn and you gotta keep it chill. Alright, let's do our thing right here, let's keep skipping turns. Next turn, there we go. So now we got enough diplomacy points to get another one of those. Another one of those uh, colonization, we're gonna colonize this place. Uh, we have a border with somebody, so we are gonna get some soldiers. And we are going to get a watchtower and a farm right here to upgrade it as much as possible. How are we doing in culture right now? We're definitely getting a lot more culture uh, from the neutral side. We got to like somehow assimilate them, I believe. I, I think we got to assimilate them. We got an extra point right here for skipping the next turn. We are now at 5 out of 25 for the income production. So income production is really doing well, boys. We have a lot of income going uh, coming in. Uh, out and in so uh, that's really good we're we, I, I gotta make sure that goods and investments are uh, good to go as well that's uh pretty much it let's skip turns again so now we're gaining a little bit more there we go every turn we are gaining point three point uh point three of those boys of diplomacy points which is uh very good very good indeed we did pass the 10 turns mark uh for uh, so we're turn 20 uh, 32 I'm just going to keep going a little bit. I don't think there's much that's going to happen in the world uh, just yet. So we can just ke uh, keep skipping. In turn uh, 40, I'll look. Uh, I guess I'll look at the world, how it's going and stuff. So let's keep going. Keep skipping turns, boys. And I'm getting that. So the, what do I want to go for next? I think a military upkeep would be great because I need to not spend as much on my soldiers and stuff. And we can, by the way, we have enough points. I just saw that. We have enough points to mob, uh, colonize another place, which is really good. I want to stick to the shores, though. I think it would be great to have this place. It has mountains and everything. Uh, these, yeah, hills and mountains are really good. But I want to stick to the forests. I want to stick to the forest right here. Thick forest, and it's gonna it's natural uh, protection and stuff. So definitely want to do that. Castle, watchtowers, ports. We can actually get ports now, boys. Libraries as well. Let's get a, a library and a port right here. And let's get a, a port as well in the library. There we go. And we obviously gonna upgrade our capital to the max. So we wanna get everything in there. So now we're gonna get some ports, boys, which is really good. Ports are gonna allow us to basically move out and go into the sea. That's what it allows us to do, basically. So that's 
uh, really good for us. We got another point, boys, we just gained. Gonna keep giving it to the military uh, upkeep. We're getting there uh, close to the year 40. There's not a lot happening. Next turn, I am gonna get, uh, thanks to the 3.3 uh, diplomacy points per year, I'm gonna get uh, what I want. Uh, I, can, I still can't do that because I need to... See that? That's the required technology level. That's my required technology level that I need in order to be a monarchy. So I'm getting close to it, but uh, not like not that close. I'm not there yet, uh, just yet. We can colonize, however, a place. So uh, I'm tempted to just keep going to the shores, boys. Get the entirety of the shores right here. Instead of trying to go deep into the territories right here and not being able to defend it too much. I think I want to just keep like doing these things. Like keep going, sticking to these uh, general vicinities and stuff. So I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to create a port. And that's about it. That's all I'm going to create right here. Uh, create a farm always though. I always want to create farms everywhere because it does help out with the population and stuff and uh, a library is good as well. Yeah, library and everything. Watchtowers and castles are only going to be for the main cities, but uh, for the other ones definitely want to do that. Uh, since I'm not protecting my capital as much, I could move this. Oh, I can, I can move uh, soldiers from not new, uh, neutral grounds, which I should probably do, boys. But uh, I, I'm going to right now. These guys are protecting me, which is good. I'm not protecting anybody. Let me just... There we go. Send this uh, warrior right here and send this guy right here. Because we don't need uh, these soldiers anywhere else. All right, so Aztec Empire is victorious. You can see we just had a battle right there. So there are soldiers. There are territories we can actually conquer. Okay, so I can actually conquer the territories like these. Okay, so no, these territories right here. But if it's territories with actual soldiers in it. So these are neutral territories and they have actually pop population in it already. I can actually invade them. All right, so these are populations I can invade. That's interesting. Well, then if that's the case. Oh, okay, let's keep skipping. There we go. If that's the case, then that means I can actually get some soldiers right here yeah i can keep uh, spawning some soldiers right here and actually attack them um do i want to go there i'm gonna send another half i don't think we're gonna be able to defeat them but we're gonna try and get this place right here uh we are we don't have enough points uh to colonize anywhere but if i can actually rage war into neutral territories without having to declare war to anybody else that's gonna really be good for me yeah there we go let's keep that going I'm going to send half of them because I want to keep some soldiers right here. And same thing for you. You're just going to go... Uh, half of you, I guess, are going to go there. They're going to invade these for free, basically. It's basically free real estate. Let's uh, let's go with uh, tw uh, two, 2k for this for this region right here. Let's go with that, boys. All right. Let's uh, skip turn. We're taking this. Nope. All right. So we lost that one. We, uh, we tried to invade it, we lost, we uh, got that one, and we got this territory, and this one as well. So we got three territories in total. Uh, let's uh, get a farm and a library over here. Same thing for here, a farm and a library. And same thing for here, uh, every time, boys, just keep working on those. Uh, we do want a port over here, because it is, after all, um, a, a shore place, so near to the shore. So now we're good now we are good so that's perfect boys we can actually modify our things quite nicely i don't have anybody to move too much i think everybody's good as it is i can actually i'm gonna keep this guy here because i'm gonna use him uh i'm gonna use him uh to attack this place so yeah i'm gonna use him to attack this place and you as well i am gonna use you just to uh with half the population i guess there we go have the soldiers we're gonna use there to go to there and over here i can't really invade this this is too many people right there there's just too many of them but i can send uh all my soldiers from my capital i can send them over there and um i guess the rest is just history i guess the rest we just gotta wait so military upkeep again uh next stop we gotta keep doing this right here 80 percent keep doing that boys all right so i think we're good we don't have anything else i can really do we can look around because there's year 40 boys. You can see we're actually moving quite nicely. We're really going in there. Um, we have how many? 0.28 of uh, technology level. 
We need point thirty-five in order to become a monarchy, boys, and not be a tribal people anymore. Uh, we've got uh, not a lot happening in America. A lot happening in um, in Europe, though. Look at that. Rome is definitely falling apart. Francia, which is basically France, it's de destroying Rome right there. This is Charlemagne, I think, isn't he? Oh uh, no, it's just Char uh, Charles the Fat. All right. Well, it, Rome is getting is getting destroyed from all sides. It can't contain Odrigia. Odrigia is destroying Rome in the east, and um, the only thing they can control is the African lands, I guess. Right now, they're getting destroyed over here in uh, Europe. That's not good. Francia is actually really getting it to uh, getting it done to them. And same thing for um, uh, the Almany. They're really doing a, 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 a their work on them. All right, a lot of happening, boys. And there's also a war going on right there. Armenians or the Sarma, uh, the Sarmatians or whatever, they're having a tough time over here in Asia. Still pretty peaceful. Not a lot happening, boys. Yeah, Asia's pretty peaceful overall. It seems like they're behaving. Kind of expect these two to eventually go at it. But right now, it seems like uh, everything's going all right. All right, well, in that case, let's keep going, boys. Let's just keep doing off. Actually, you know what? I think this is a good place to end it because we're at 40 turns. You're 80. So we spent almost an entire decade or an entire century already as our empire. And we grew from one little territory to, to a couple of them. We are actually becoming an, an interesting empire right here. We're growing. Uh, let's see after uh, right now what we did. How many territories we got? There we go. We're in there. 12 provinces, boys. So we got 12 regions. We're doing all right. We're doing pretty decent. And the Roman Empire, even if they're actually getting destroyed right now, it seems like uh, they have 213 still territories. They're still doing pretty decent. It's unbelievable what they can do, really. What you can do when you, uh, when you have that amount of resources and stuff. It's unbelievable. Alright, well, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.